Hey, I'm going to make this quick video to show how to localize your maps. If you have any problems, I'm sure a lot of players and map makers have run into this really infuriating problem where you have this param value. Basically, it comes down to localization. You make the map in one region, I open it up in the editor in another region, and something goes wrong with the text string localizations. They don't carry over properly to the right language folders, and you get this crap. Anyway, let's get to it right away. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close StarCraft here and change my screen region. There we go. There we go. Okay. So here I am in the map. You just want you want to open up where your most latest version is held and you want to make sure all your changes that you want are there. So we're going to go ahead and go uh file save as and uh you want to create a new empty folder somewhere. So I made one. It's in my local disk. You can make it anywhere you want and I called it map localization. All right, and then you want to save your map as StarCraft II component folders. I want to point out I'm using the Biotech campaign as an example because this is a current issue that is being had. Anyway, so again, you want to save your map. You don't have to change the name or anything and change it to component folders with this dropdown. And we're going to save. Great. We can exit the editor. Now, I have a procedure to make this go kind of efficiently because I've, uh, I've had to make these changes on several maps, uh, a lot of maps, so I kind of got into a, a decent procedure. Is go ahead and open up two two instances of Windows Explorer or whatever file explorer that you use and head into your um, your map localization. So open up Biotech 1 and you'll see, um, well not Biotech 1, whatever your map folder is and you should have at least one or possibly many more of these, um, you'll notice these um, language folders, not base, not base SC2 data but these language folders specifically. You can have up to 17. So wherever you are localized, so in uh, the maker of Biotech's case, it is, um, he's in ENGB. Now that's the English-speaking region of Europe. So I'm assuming that stands for English Great Britain. I don't know for sure, but that's what I assume. I am in ENUS. Basically, when I open the map, it looks in this ENUS folder. It doesn't have the right strings in there. It can't find the, the right um, variables for the, for the text strings, and it gets all messed up. But the correct ones are in ENGB, but that's not the version I'm running the editor in, so it has problems. So inside here is this localized data folder, and here are, here are our string text files. These are the correct ones. So go to the region that you're in, find the localized data folder, and copy it out. So I copy it over here to uh, the main map localization folder. All right, so we're going to go back. And now that you have the correct one saved in your parent location of map localization, what I would recommend is just go ahead and delete any language folders that you have. Now be careful, because I'm assuming they're in alphabetical order for you. There might be other folders mixed in. Make sure you're only deleting the language folders. They're very obvious which ones they are. So get rid of those. Now what you'll see what I've done is I created this empty folder here. When I open that up, here is a list of all of the language folders. There's 17 of them. Now these are all empty. And I'm, I'm going to keep this here forever in case I ever need to do this f for more maps, and I'm sure I will. So now, go ahead and highlight all of these. These are all empty again, and hold control and click and drag them over. There we go. So here's our components folder, and it's got all the language folders that are empty in there. Now, we take our saved localized data. This has the correct uh, text strings in it. We copy it, and then we just go down this list, and we paste it in all the way down. So what this is doing is it's, it's copying over the correct text files in each and every one of the possible regions. So now if any person anywhere in the world of the 17 possible um, editor regions opens this up and runs it from the editor, it will, have, it will not show param value. So anytime you make a text string change, I think you need to do this for other people to be able to see it. Okay, great. So we've done that. That's it. Now we can just close this, and I'm going to go ahead and reopen the editor. Da, 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 da. It's going to take a few seconds. Great. Okay, so go ahead and open, and you want to um, you want to navigate your way to the map localization file. It should already go straight there because that's where you last saved. So when you go to open, it should already be there. And I'm going to go ahead and open this. This what it's recognizing here is actually the component folder. We're going to open that up slowly. This is going to take a few seconds, again, depending on the performance of your system. Also, Battle.net's been having problems. I think there's been some uh, DDoS attacks on a lot of the major gaming networks, and uh, that actually affects the editor, too, because every time you open the editor, it connects to Battle.net and checks your localization, which is probably part of this whole big problem anyway. So, Once this is done, what you can do is resave the map as a map file. Okay, so now we're back in here. What I can do is go to File, Save As, 
and we can navigate our way to, um, I would say, keep your old file as a backup. I'm just going to go ahead and save over the old one just to show that this definitely works. But again, always keep a backup. Go ahead and um, save as a .se2 map file now, and I'm replacing the old file. Keep in mind, we haven't changed anything except the localization, so it's not a problem. So uh, just to show that this is a for sure thing, I'll go ahead and exit out of this again. And I'm going to specifically open up the file that I just saved. Maps, Biotech Company, Biotech 1. And I'm going to run the map and show that it, it still works. Again, it's going to take several seconds to boot up. Now, I hope this helps. Uh, it is quite a tedious procedure to have to do on many maps. Now, again, if I could recommend anything, it's go ahead and make the list of those empty folders. That way you always have them. Don't delete them. Just keep them empty and just copy them over every time. Just um, save the correct localized data folder. Delete all your language folders. Copy over the empty ones and then paste the localized data into each and every one of them. And you will be localized properly for every single one. And I would recommend doing this every time you have to make a text string change. Okay, so now we're going to test the map. There we go. I'm going to change my screen region here for StarCraft. Come on. Okay, and then once this loads, you'll see that it's correct. Or you can just believe me and close the video now. That's up to you. Okay, it's working now. <laughs> no, I just had a, a system hiccup there that didn't have to do with any of the changes that I made. We're going to go ahead and go, and as you can see, it's fixed. It works great for me now. I am in the United States, and I'm playing a map made by someone in Norway. What a thrill and treat for me. Continue, start, there we go. Anyway, I'd recommend checking out the biotech campaign, especially now that there won't be any of those annoying param value problems. I'm so excited. I will be showing off this in, on my own channel, probably right after Enslavers, because this seems like one of the best campaigns that are out there and was also recommended to me by Ivan Dell. All right, thanks for sticking with me. Hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Bye.